this bishop, so you cannot take too many times on this e6 square. And now he's aiming just for a pawn storm. Pawn to e6, followed by pawn to f5, f forward here. And um, at least he's mixing it up. I think a really clever decision there from Dennis Robert. I watch Jose shake his head. He overlooked this move e6. I'm shaking my head too because it's a pawn race. Uh, this e pawn accompanied by an F pawn, that looks scary. But as Tanya mentioned, there's an A and a B pawn for black, and those pawns can rumble forward too. So I'm worried about the black king. I'm worried about all of these past pawns. And I'm also worried about Jose's clock. Tanya, we keep talking about how he's doing well on, you know, even in time scrambles. This is very tactical. So you are going to have to be extra careful here to survive this position against Dennis Lazvik. Couldn't agree more with that, but we've seen Jose just how accurate he is with little time on the clock, even if the position's really complicated. And although White's the one who's down upon, and yes, we pointed out that A passe, but this last move by Dennis, that's terrifying. White's got a protected passed pawn on E6 now, and our uh, computer is showing the best move, the knight rerouting itself to D4 via E2, attacking that F5 weakness. I'm picking white right now, despite Jose being the one who's pawn up. I think black's got to be the one who's who has to be careful in this position. But David, he chooses another plan. He wants to put this bishop on h5. Love it. The bishop's coming in. Um, it might just come in anyway. Bishop to h5, <laughs> plonk it down on f7, and there's going to be all sorts of checkmating ideas around the black king. Um, the all-seeing overlords, the silicon <laughs> overlords there, the computers say knight to e2 first, even stronger. And uh, again, same plan, knight back. And once it lands on e2, it comes forward into d4. Beautiful outpost. And this is the big weakness in Black's position, the f5 pawn. I think Jose needed to bite the bullet and uh, just trade off pawns earlier because this one, yes, he's blocked up white for a move or two, but it's going to fall in the long term. Instead, Dennis puts his bishop on h5. Very natural move. And again, the blue arrow indicates Black's best move by far. You need to trade off one set of rooks. But I'm going to say that's not obvious. Um, it's not instinctive. You normally uh, would want to keep a rook behind past pawns, throw this pawn down the board. It's simply to stop white's checkmating ideas. If you allow this bishop to land on f7 and white rook to slide over to g3, then black will be doomed. So uh, you need to trade before it's too late. Rook to g8. Only way to save this game. He's got 30 seconds left, though. Oh, Jose, I wow. don't envy his chances, Robert. No, and you can see it on his face. And look, he was Bishop E8, the evaluation. It goes all the way up, and I think it's because White can bring the Knight in, and there Dennis goes. Knight D4, hitting F5, going to C6. With checkmating threats, the loose pawns in Black's position, I just feel like they're going to drop off. A Rook goes to G5 as well, if you want to win F5 directly. Uh, this looks painful, as the White's pawns feel faster than Black's Tanya. David, I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, Dennis, he's got this under control. He's the got race. And you're ahead. You've got a head start. Pawn on e6, Tanya. And Robert, this is something you've always said. It's not about the quantity of pawns. It's about the quality of pawns. And that pawn on e6 is, is worth more than just the one pawn, a deficit that White has right now. Look at the piece activity. Dennis also up on the clock. Jose shaking his head. He's down to 30 seconds. The f5 pawn is falling. The knight is coming in. The a pawn hasn't really gone down the board. That move e6... Robert, I think that was the moment that it changed the game. It changed the dynamics, and it took Jose by big surprise. The key word is dynamic. It changed the game from one where both players were you know, pushing pawns, trying to gain the upper hand, and then made it dynamic. And look at this position as David draws the arrows. David, you take it away. This is such a nice find from Dennis to secure victory, it seems. He's calculated so deeply, he's going to throw his knight out the way with a check now, a fork, clearing the path for the coronation of his e-pawn. He's going to make a queen. This is game over. Beautiful there from Denis Lazovic. He spotted it all a mile away. This is just a wonderful play. Queen coming. Jose Martinez is going to resign. And there we go. Denis gets the win. Beautiful play. Wow. I think we're all so impressed right now. Just incredible precision by Denis Lazovic.